Well, hello everybody, welcome to episode 3 of the 1874 podcast. Today's guest is Darren Ramsey. He's a, an utterly invincible and it's a pleasure to have him on. How you doing mate? Welcome Hi. to the podcast. Cheers my man. So, we've um, been speaking for a wee while, haven't we, to get you on. Uh, I think getting Gary Carroll on first was the best thing to do, get him on and then once he's done it, everybody else can come Aye. on. So. Uh, but it's a pleasure to have you here, mate. First of all, we're going to do a wee shout out for G4 Claims, uh, who sponsor us and help us out with the podcast. Thanks very much for everything you do for us. Uh, we're in an awards thing last night for the Scottish Business Awards. They won two awards, so well done, guys. Fantastic work. Uh, keep it up. Uh, if you're looking for any help with claims for anything, just get in contact with them. I'll leave a wee description in the uh, bio at the bottom. And if you're listening on Spotify or anything, I'll uh, leave it on that as well. So, Darren, Invincible, as we said, did you think that you'd be sitting here doing a podcast after that season with Arthur Lee? Do you think that that's something that would have happened? Probably no. No. Looking at it, when we first came in and that, you're thinking, aye, we've got a good team. Should be going to win the league, but you don't think you're going to go and do it unbeaten? But I, th- I think if you ask anybody at the club about that, the, the Invincible, they're sort of same. They're all kind of, I, but we knew we had a good team, we knew we were going to try and do something. But to go Invincible, mate, <sighs> speechless, but you ask your fans as well. Do you know what I mean, it's like many teams actually get to do it. So many. So, oh. And you, looking at your CV, mate, you played a bit. Um, We'll get on to that later, the teams that you were weighing stuff like that. So you know how hard it is to do that at any level. Aye. So um but you know, we'll keep getting on about it and we'll keep putting it in people's faces that we're invincible on in it because it's amazing, do you know what I mean? Doesn't happen every day. Aye, exactly. Uh so gonna go back to start, mate, where do you grew up and stuff like that? Um where you came from, what you got up to as a young kid and all that and how you ended up getting into football. So uh, I, grew, I grew up in Cran Hill, just out with your pals and playing football all the time and street, street lights on your right out the front, but you're out the front playing football. Can Constant, any good? Constantly. Up to any good? Up to any good, aye. Kidding on you playing football. Aye. So, school football, is that what it started for you? Didn't play school football. No? Was that, it? Was that because? Because of football. Aye? Aye. Oh, so... When did you get picked up? Started off, I played with Winnie Harmony Row. Right. And I played there, only played there for three or four months. And after that, that's when I got picked up. So, Harmony Row, that would have been what age group then, were you there? Yeah, nine I was. Aye. Aye. So, that must have been, you were picked up, who was it you were picked up with? Rangers. So, you're not getting picked up with just anybody, you know what I mean? Rangers come calling at that age, then you must uh, yeah. you must have been sort uh, uh, you're gone, you know what I mean? I mean, you've... Uh, h- how did that feel? Because obviously, you're a Rangers fan. Aye, it was, it was brilliant, obviously, Surreal. you know what I mean? So, um, grew up, man, I was nervous. Aye. Was it, even as a wee boy, I still remember it, it was nerve-wracking. Because you're grinning, you're like, I don't know who I'm Because you're playing with your boys' club, you know all the boys? It's boys of... I was even as a wee boy, you were pals with them. Aye. And you go into somewhere and you don't know anybody and you're kind of looking about going, far off these people. I don't know how good they are, but I like and all that as people, so. I think, obviously, with being Rangers as well, I mean, there's got that expectation level Aye. as well on it and stuff. Going for so I'm no saying it in rhyme with Harmony Road because they've got a great set up. Aye, they have. Um, but it's that you went into elite level after that. Aye. And f- for me, Getting picked up with their boyhood club, you'd want to run through, wasn't they? Everything for them. I mean, is that the feeling you had? You wanted to go. Kind of, it was just go there and enjoy it, really. Rather than obviously you were kind of nervous and that, but you wanted to go and show that you're good at football. Did you get any like really big boys kind of thing? Did you really, feel no. above yourself? Kind no. of like no, no really. I no. play for Rangers and look down your nose at MD. No really, no. I did later on. Aye. Which is a mistake now looking back at it. Right. But you think you're a fucking big man in that, but you're only... So, I mean. when did it get serious? 
terms of that. We're signing on and you knew that you were going to try and make a career out of football? When it comes to contract time, you know, 15, 16, and that's when you start getting offered contracts, so you don't get a contract and you let go. Right. Obviously, I got one. And after that, that's when it becomes serious. You know, you need to, that's when your hard work actually starts. Was there any other teams sniffing about you doing about that? There was a few, aye, but I was always with State Rangers. Good choice, mate. Aye. <laughs> aye. We've spoken about that the other night, but... Um, so, who who was the manager then? When I signed my... Aye, I signed your 15 to 16-year-old contract. It was... Alan McCoyst. He was the first. It was right. his first season, so it was. And who who would have took you for training and stuff like that? Jimmy Sinclair. Right. He was ahead of youth. And it was with Billy Kirkwood and Tommy Wilson. Right. There were other two coaches, so they were. What other boys were in there, were you? Anybody went on and made it? Barry McKay. Right. Was loud. Um, Andy Murdoch, he played with the first team. Um, Charlie Telfer. Like he even on the Dundee United really stuff Dundee United, aye. And we're all still playing now, so... Good players. Ah, good players. Um, good players. So, you're definitely there with a lot of talent. Aye. I was... Going to watch Arthur Lee and you get a noise. Don't know who the players are, where they've been and stuff like aye. that, so... Then a bit of digging work and then I found out that you played for Rangers and I'd say to my son, oh look, Darren had played with Rangers and then dive a bit further in and it was a, was a Glasgow Cup final at Ibrox that Aye. you scored an equaliser in. Aye. A good big crowd there as well, that must have felt... Seven and a half thousand or something was it? That must have felt, that especially against Celtic. Aye, Aye, it's, Aye. Uh, it was. It's only something that I could have dreamt of doing when I was a boy. I think everybody that's grown up was a Rangers fan. Aye. And you went there and you've done it mate. I mean it's... I know. How many people can see it? Uh, getting to date exactly. one, so that's it. Aye. But you'd see, look at that, even see growing up through age groups, at the end of the year, you'd always play Ibrox. Right. So you'd always have a game, whether that be against, you know what I mean. So yeah. did you get much interaction with the first team? Aye. Run about then, aye. aye. So who, who would you have looked up to then? Look, players that you looked at and went, me, they something else, I'm another model professionals or. You'd have like, Lee McCulloch. Right. For starters, obviously he became obviously he became a captain when Rangers went down the divisions. Aye. He was there. Lee Wallace was there. They two were obviously there before all stuff happened. Aye. And you're looking at them going, guys are actual they're men. Aye. They're, they're actual football players looking at them. Because there's forties and you see me beside them and you're going, I'm this skinny wee boy. Aye, just next to these boys. Are we wait oh, next to them? Did you get a train with him? Aye. Aye. I take it. Um, Gary was on he was telling us training alongside the boys at Aberdeen there was no prisoners taking they were, no. they were treated like men as well no, I mean, you just get treated like a man of them aye. I mean they don't tip toe around about you so it's if a, you're no pulling your weight you're getting it aye Basically, not that's me. exactly what aye. he said mm-hmm. I mean, it's I, I, could maybe scare young boys maybe that's um, a, a good learning curve for you it did get to me a wee bit right. it did because you're kind of you're overawed with it a wee bit I think especially if you were a fan as well and going to the aye. games and watch them and, you, and then the next minute you're, you're yeah, in training with these guys. With and it's like, you do one thing wrong, but the standards are set. Basically, you know what I mean? You can't be doing things wrong. Aye. It's simple as that. But you mentioned standards, like, I imagine that's probably the best standard you've had in your football career or anywhere else you've been. Aye. It's like, I remember, I remember it was one time, right, we were doing like a drill. And it was, I was like starting a half, and it was basically a 10, 15 year pass, and I couldn't do it. Nerves? Don't know. Couldn't do it. Overawed? Probably, I don't know. Aye, it's but, scary, and it's... Aye. But... And he kept, see the thing was, McCoy's kept telling me, going, no, do it again. Aye. He kept, do it again, do it again, and I'm fucking everybody sitting watching, you're going, fuck, where the fuck's going here? And then you start yeah. panicking, going like that, possessing, going like that. You can sit and play 10, 15-year balls all day. Aye. You know what I mean? Ah, no ball, and then it comes to that situation, you're going... I kind of kick the ball. Legs at jail. Stage fright. Aye, that's exactly what it was. But, obviously, you, you were at Rangers for a good while, do you know what I mean? So, Aye. you were doing something right anyway. Yeah, till I was, what, 20, 21. Right, so, six years or something you were at Rangers? Five, six years? Full time, aye. Right. For 
when I went there, I went into the set up, that was about 9 year old. Right. So, ah, uh, you're getting in and learning, obviously that would have been at Ockin Hibby. Aye. Getting in there. What's that like as a set up? Unbelievable. Aye? Aye. Like you're proper looked after. Right. I watched, obviously, watch Gary's one, and he's saying how do you have to go and clean changing rooms and all that. We didn't have to do that. Right. Some people done that for us. But we uh, would go in the mallings and get your breakfast. Then you go down the stair, your training kit sitting there ready for you. This is it. 16 year old. You, you did have jobs, but some people would go around maybe they like blow the balls up and that for the first team, do mm-hmm. the water. But you then had boys that would do the jobs for us, or not. You would do the rain jobs for your training. Aye. You know what I mean? So, so Gary had mentioned like, when Bayern Munich had come into town Aye. there, and he says it was just a different level there. Aye. I'd, maybe that's a level Rangers were at at the same time. Maybe, aye. Maybe that's what. But, but you're used to it, you've been in and seen that, so. You coming away for Rangers, it's obviously a reality check. Like, what you're in a different place. So we'll, we'll talk about the other teams later and stuff. Um, so, I'd, as I said, the, the guys that were inspired, you, Lee McCulloch and all that, obviously, mm-hmm. these guys would, would have been on at you all day, keeping you in touch. What about after the pitch? Did they look, speak to you? Aye, like, if you've seen them in Colorado, they speak to you, but Aye. never. Not even when they go away, it would just be like, you just go about our day and you can't go about yours, not I mean, kind of thing. Was there any big egos that thought, oh, he's a bit of an arse or anything? Quite a few, I don't know any names, there was a few. Aye. They thought they were better but, than what they were. I think that's the way I felt anyway. Aye. aye. But, yeah, and then they were lucky to beat me, just... Yeah, why? Aye. But, I, I'm... I'm I love to hear your story of what you've done with the Rangers and stuff and obviously the, the cup final when you scored that goal you were saying it was a great feeling blah blah you just went on to win it in penalties Aye. did you take a penalty that night? no oh. I had to take him off right. I had double hair on this at the time right so I think it was a bit of an hour in and my legs just done went that was me finished after them. good celebrations after it but not really no I was 16 <laughs> I could have done that, I mean. Aye. Well, I, when I think back to watching. At, at the time, when you're 16, it's good. Aye. Then you think, I just mean, you're a couple of years older. What would it have been like? Aye. But then we did do that. One of you've got, we go to go. Aye. A free day bender or something. Where did you just play that? Was that at Hamden? St. Mon Park. St. Mon. Aye, we won that penalty as well. So, I mean, I, I've watched a, a lot of these games, and especially Glasgow Cup stuff, and I, my first game was. Watching McCoy scoring a hat trick in the Glasgow Cup final aye. back in the 80s, do you know what I mean? So, it used to be a first team tournament. Aye. It, to it was team. massive. Ibrox was full, uh, amazing. And that was my first memory. I'd gone to Ibrox. Um, but the, the thing is, I probably watched you and not realised. Realized. So, I mean, I've aye. watched you, you've cut and stuff like that. Uh, and it wasn't until the other night I watched it on YouTube and I seen it. And I was like, because I've done a bit of digging on you to, to find it. But there's no much else footage, which is. Do you have any footage yourself? Yeah, hey, but that night? I did no. look. There, there, was, there was highlights set on Rangers TV years ago, but I think they update it. They must have. But what about but your family? How did, how did they react? Were they, you ah, they were winning trophies? Pun- they were punch, man, so they were. Does it keep memorabilia and stuff like that? Aye, my nan has got it on her aye. house. All the stuff, aye. Sits in a box in her house. Match with programmes and all that for you. I was at other clubs. Right. They've got hundreds of stuff. Aye, it's good professionalism there, down there. Phone gun. Somebody phoning me. Aye, cheers. Eh, uh, sorry about that. So, what's your f- best bit of memorabilia you've got for your time at Rangers? What is something that you, you'll probably treasure for your the rest of your life at? Still got my first contract. Right. Got a copy of it. Aye. That's still there. So, that's always there. Them they've ever tried to call me out about that, he has a contract. That's what get, it get that framed, mate. Aye, I know. That's something we could maybe in later times get into Arthur and get a photocopy and get aye, it put maybe, up in the wall. Maybe I. But I think a, a few people might not be happy with seeing no. the Rangers badge up there. No. Um, so after that, you've um, time came to an end with Rangers. Um, was it through injury or? I know, I know, because I did. I had problems with my hips and that. And that I'm not going to lie about it. I probably wasn't as professional as I should have been in terms of what was required to play with Rangers. 
because you had your own personal programmes and all that, and I did take it seriously. Mm-hmm. When you should have, I mean, sometimes you thought you were better than what you were. Is that something when you get to like, a later stage of your career and go, I wish I had done that? Aye. Or I wish I'd stuck with it? Aye, aye, you do, but there's no point doing it. It's, it's <coughs> happened now, isn't it? Aye, that's it. What I mean? What's so in the past, in the past, mate? You can't change it. But it was what it was, not what I mean? A, but that could break people. That can. They could end up going, well, oh, what if, what if, what if? And then you probably see it all the time boys that have come through at Rangers and Celtic and stuff like that, and they fire onto the scene. And then they quickly diminish. You don't see them again. You no. don't hear of them. Um, so, in regards to yourself, um, you're saying a bit of. You weren't professional enough and stuff. Were you just a bit pissed off? You wanted to go elsewhere? Probably. Was it game time you felt as if you should have been? Um, you can't think that, right? Because you know, it doesn't matter. Because I left Rangers when they're in Championship. It doesn't matter what league they're in. You need to be a certain standard to play for Rangers and conduct yourself in a certain way. Now yeah. I wasn't doing it. Right. It's simple as that. At the time, obviously, I thought I was. But then you look back now as you grow up a bit and you go, no, isn't it? Aye. I was miles off it. Aye, miles off it. Aye. Aye, the way you should be conducting yourself, aye. So, what, what's happened then? How did you just... You just get a bit of lost, man. Like, go to the point where if you're not playing with the first team, you're going on loan. Mm-hmm. And you see other boys that you've grew up with and you don't necessarily think they're any better than what you are. Mm-hmm. They're going to this club and that club all-time environments and I go somewhere else and I'm like don't really want to go there and I go pushed on me yeah, I mean, yeah I'll go there play. right so I was like I need to go and play was that a bro to you went not you aye well that was a bit of a step down Rangers to a bro ah, it was what it was see the thing was it's not the best played. of stadiums there we, is it next to the sea going to a loan to a bro we played them pre-season we were 20s and we battered them 6 nothing. right we were 20s and then you get to you're going to loan to them you're going I mean why but then when you go there it's like ah you're gone they've obviously think we've got somebody that you can go and like try and obviously help improve it it's just any work out like that obviously that's better done with it aye it was in a bad mood you know what I mean aye. things like that going I need to fucking go up to a bro that must have been a bit some travelling uh, some joint I've been out there fishing. See, 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 to be fair, it's no disrespect to a bro for it because it's a good club. Aye. You see where they are now. Aye, what a fin- uh, fantastic see season. The, the, the Dick Campbell's job. Aye. Uh-huh. Excellent. I'd have loved to have seen them going up, but hey, all these things happen if I would, didn't they? Um, so, how long did you play there? Were you the first team? It was just a season one. So it was six months to start with. Right. And then. A six months for up, and it was it was clear I wasn't getting a new contact at Rangers, mm-hmm. and just had to keep playing. I thought I'd just go back to Abroad and just finish the season off there. Just didn't really, we didn't really finish too great. Finished second bottom of the league. Right, I know. Wasn't that was miles off it? I don't know. Aye, wasn't anywhere near the way I could have played. Not I me. Mean. Were they in League One, League Two, two. and at the time? I think that was the first year they'd done the pyramid system. Right. And I think he's still in doing. Aye. And if it wasn't for he's still in being... I think at one point they were the worst team in Aye. the world. If it wasn't for that. They were never winning games. We were bang in trouble. Aye. But just to say, I don't know because obviously they changed manager and Dick Campbell came in for the last, maybe the last month or something. Right. It did change. You can see you go to kind of Lifted the boys in that, so he did, because he's a good manager. Ah, he's a character, he's a isn't he? Character, and he character. always does well, every team he's been with. He's, he's a funny, so funny guy. Well. Him and his bra, aye. funny guys. Aye, that. Aye. I've watched a few things on the BBC and stuff for him, and part of the get of them was excellent. Aye. Um, so you went back to Rangers then, when your loan finished? My loan finished, obviously, when our bro season finished, I went back to Rangers and it was maybe a week or two. It was just basically going and get my stuff and get to and that was um, Warburton. Aye. Was there much changes for you when you went? It was Smith. Uh, sorry, it would have been McCoyst. Mm-hmm. 
when you went out on loan, was it McLeist? And then when you came no, back, no, it was, was it Warburton yeah. been? Did you see any big changes for McLeish leaving to Warburton coming in? Aye. You know, it's... But there was changes, aye, but... Because in my eyes, right, everything that we've known during that time when McLeish came down the bottom level, he was like the only person there. Obviously, you're seeing different from yeah. the inside, not that. I'm not going to go into... Because we don't want to divulge what's happened and stuff like that, but... For me, growing up, he was well, my hero, mm-hmm. and he become the Rangers manager. See, see look, right, for obviously, but he's used to standardise with Rangers, right, in a full time environment. See me as a young boy, I loved it. Aye, so I didn't know that was, but that's what you thought it was. Aye. Obviously, it wasn't that. It shouldn't have been that way, but I loved it because Aye. we were getting a chance to go and train with the first team all the time and be running about it constantly. Aye. Whereas before. Very lucky if you get to do that. Aye. You know what I mean? So because of the, in terms of standard of players that was there before, compared to obviously when we were doing, obviously they could do the need to do something. I, I, I thought mean? it was a great chance for guys like yourself to come in. Boys did. Um, those boys uh, did play. Aye, but those some boys that just, did. just didn't. Uh, Timing was wrong with some boys, not I me, mean, and injuries and certain things, not I me, mean, and stuff happening. But was, mate, some of the stuff that went on during that time, <laughs> if it is. When you're reading in the paper and stuff like that, it was just a calamitous time for the club and all that. But do you know what? We get through it. Aye. Warburton's come in. You've obviously seen fit an outsider looking in. He was very strict on how he wanted things done. And um, I don't know if he had much interaction with the guy or whatever. Uh, oh. It looks as if he would be the first team only. And Aye, that's it. Aye, that and I think you said there, you knew your time was up. So. Aye. What were your thoughts? Who would you want to go to? Would you still want to play football? Were you annoyed at it? Um, I don't know. I can't really... can remember I was gutted about it, obviously. Because I wanted to play with Rangers. Mm. That was my, what I wanted to do. But then it comes... But did, you know? And didn't know what I was wanting to do. Whether it be... Obviously, I still, I still wanted to stay and play full-time football. Uh-huh. But then... How can I justify it if the season I just had it up off? Well, it's going to take a punt on me at, at 20, 21, only played one season. And, and, and at that point, didn't have a good season. So It's a kind of crucial age as well. Aye, it's it like, aye. if you're going to make it and you're play. It, you're going to make it if you're at that age. At, at that level. Aye. I mean. Because uh, to be honest, we don't see many young boys coming through and hitting it half and being successful. There's a lot of it. So many times that you need to leave, go somewhere else, Aye. and do good, and then go back. That's, that's 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 exactly what Gary was saying about Aberdeen with boys that had to Aye. go away Aye. and make it, and then they're doing a couple of levels to come back to up and stuff up. like that. Aye. So obviously, um, your route was elsewhere. After that, you've left Rangers, gutted. You wanted to stay there. Aye. Your boyhood team and an athletic. Is it you went after that? Real Salt Lake. What? Like Gary Carroll will tell you about it. He calls him the Mighty Ducks. Aye? Aye. That was only a couple of weeks and couldn't hack it. Aye? Aye. How did that come about? Just I had an agent at the time and he's like, you go out to go to America. I thought, why not? Try something different. Didn't pay off. No? No, man. Can I talk about the Spanish? All the boys were Hispanic, weren't they? Aye? Aye. Not a word, man. Sat in there. Look, Actually, see, I... see, my, my saving grace was the Euros was on. And uh, Copa America was one. Right. And I just sat in the hotel room watching that. That was like, nah, man, I need to go home. To be honest, it's a bit of a, a great opportunity at that age. You know? I mean, going to some new in America. I just couldn't handle it, man. See, not get much out of it. Every Aye. single day. I was like, I can't do this. I need to so, get here, man. I actually seen a comment for him. Gary Carroll about Mighty Ducks, and I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> but I knew it would come out somewhere already, but... Aye. So that was Kai Bosch to come back here. Came back here and signed with Aaron. Another bit of travel for you? Aye. Down to there? So I had. Didn't have anything else. But the only team in? Aye. So you had to go with it? Had to go with it if I wanted to keep playing. Did you... That's when reality hurt. Aye. You won't get a job. Right. I'd never worked a day in my life. Well, obviously, you've gone to the Rangers and that. It's classed as work, but it's not work. Aye. You're going to play football. 
I'm going for the money you were at Rangers. <laughs> which is, you told me the other night, we're not going to discuss right. it, but what you were getting then, Annan. 75 quid a week. I mean, it's... Uh, you need to go and get a job. You need to go and get a job. You can't live on seventy-five So what did you do for a job? What did you go and do? I went and worked for um, my granddad's company. Right. He he owned ARCT Transport. They done the home delivery for IKEA. Right. But then there was a building side that we got and built people's furniture for them. I went and done that. Aye. Aye. That was all right. Good to keep. Well, right. I'm moving house and stuff. I <laughs> see. Now looking back at it, it's a good job to have. But the time's my first job. I'm going. It's a shite. I like, saw so your white days play football for Rangers, really, wasn't it's, it? It's terrible, and there's nights you like, uh, can't make training, I'm late at work, and you're like, it's, it's just brutal, man. And were they in League Two as well? Aye. 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 So, you obviously know the setup, you've been there. For so about. The football. Great club. Style Aye. of football compared to what you were used to. Aye, totally different. But well, it was it was more direct. Right. Than actually getting a ball down and playing, but it was effective. And it suited me where he wanted me to play. Right. Because we had a big striker. It would basically play half no dunes and I just ran half him. So you are playing like a second striker then? Kind of, aye. But we were centre mid. But I was free to go because we had Gav Skelton. Right, aye. Who'd go on a bit and he just sat and chilled out. You know what I mean? Didn't want to run about much. But obviously ended up doing my running for me. As everybody else. Aye. Well, to watching you at I kind of don't know what position you are because you play everywhere. I think the only Position we're seeing you playing in goals, so yeah, I know. I was saying to him, but you need to play in goals, and that's me completed it. Aye, that made it pre season. Aye, um, so what is your position? What would you prefer to play? Centre mid, centre mid. Aye. I've seen you there a few times, um, but the majority of times you've played it's a left back, isn't it? Aye, it stuck you in there. Um, that's just they fill with injuries and people being away and holding stuff like that, you know what I mean? But, it, was it, what it was, the I? utility player they call? Aye, I, I, I hated it. I'm uh, not tell you, man. Constantly on them, like, get me out of the left back. Aye. They'd always come, I need you to do my favour, I'm like, right, okay. Well, I think every team kind of needs it, but don't they? they need somebody aye. that they can, st- especially at that level. Aye. You know I mean? Listen, it's, it's football, isn't it? You just play whatever you're asked to play, and that's kind of that. Aye, you moan about it, but you just go, mate. So, that Aaron... How, how did you stay there? I think we, f- we finished third. We got into the playoffs. Right. And we were ready in the playoffs, stupidly, man. We went away to Edinburgh City and I got sent half straight red. Right. Three game ban. So I missed the last two league games. First playoff game. Oh, good. We were playing for offer. First playoff game, we're 2 0 up, cruising. Five minutes to go, finished two each. Oh, no, man. Then second leg, I'll be up to four Manager puts me in a bench. I'd played all year. Puts me in a bench. Obviously, I made an ass out of it. Aye. And we got asked out up at four for. I think we beat four, four two or something. We end up. I think we we're four. I think we we're four nil doing at one point. Aye. Getting battered. Go back to four two. And we just ran out of time. So we did. But we had a good team. We had a right good team. So, the back of Rangers. Did you play? Any first team with Rangers? Were you on the bench or anything? Get no. any minutes? No. no. So we didn't get near that, so it was no. No, reserve no. football. Nah. No. It was B team. Nah, uh, under twenties it was. It was classed as. Because you keep changing that and it? it's under twenty nah, twenty ones and stuff. Team and... Yeah, all right. So that th- this was being at our broth and yeah, and that, that's your first taste yeah. really. Aye, uh, first team football. Professional right. football. Right. Like, um playing against big men rather than Young boys and stuff like that. Aye. It's a bit of a learning curve for you. It is, aye. Especially, but, especially that first year at a broth. Massive learning curve. Because we won the winning all the time. Whereas at Annan, we were winning these weeks. Aye. And doing well. But at a broth, when you're not winning, it's, it's no, tough. Aye. Especially you having to travel way up there and you're going, what's, 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 what's the point of this? What's the point of this? This is going to be this week. Aye. You know it, I mean? it must be hard, especially at a young age and stuff. I mean, it's. Um, can drive you mad, and, and Aye. but you've seen what you got on with. It. I mean, you've ended up is it back to Clyde after that scene? Back to Clyde. I obviously the manager and got a job at Clyde. Aye, I noticed that. Um, uh, Jim Chapman. Chapman. Aye. Took me well to Clyde. So you've obviously impressed him if he's taking you. Aye. Had I mean. a good season, Aaron. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've done well. Um, went to Clyde and 
for whatever reason, it just didn't click. Right. At all. Really. Um, eventually, Chappie gets sacked. Brought in Danny Lennon. Right. Did I say the brand? Uh, was he registered as a player still? No, at that point he wasn't. He wasn't until after I'd left and I seen him. I was sitting on my phone one night seeing he'd come on for Clyde. I'm going, ah, what is going on here? I had the big grey hair and the grey beard and all that, mate. I was like, <laughs> come uh, on, man. One of them ones. But I don't think he'd put his cell on. There was still other boys on the bench and I'm going, I didn't be one of them boys. He did. And the manager's put his cell on you'd be like, ah, how are you, man? <laughs> Especially, what is he, any 50s or something? 50s, not me. Uh, uh, and you're sitting on the bench and the gaffer puts you selling at 50 year old I, I don't know what's going on there mate. Right, get me out of here man uh, and I guess he's never near the player he was when he was younger right, do you know what I mean don't get me he did he got him promoted and that aye fair enough but aye you can't be putting yourself on fucking there's a bit of a um, stink about Clyde now with everything that went on with the <coughs> striker that you played with my side aye um, I'm not going to ask your views on it and stuff like that because it is what it is. Aye. I see Broom Hill have just went in there as well. They're, they're in there, they? they're going to be playing. Aye. How did you find playing at that stadium? Do you like that? Oh, I hate it. A bit weird, isn't it? It's it's like... Massive. Obviously, I don't even run about. <laughs> so, um, ah, it was massive. So it was. Where, what level were they at then? Was that League Two again? League Two still. Aye. Was there any other boys there? Like yourself at the time that you thought we're going to go in and make it. Uh, who? Well, Clyde. Clyde. Aye. Um, aye. Some of them are still playing there. Right. So they're um, not doing well, but I really remember because I didn't enjoy it. Right. So I kind of try and forget. Aye, it. was it? Aye, I, mean, I didn't enjoy it. And how long were you there? Six months. Same right. For a year. I think they actually, I think they actually had to pay a fee for me because I was still under twenty three. So Aaron will do something if I left. Right. Because they'd offer me a contract. Much to get for you. Which it was. I don't know, he didn't disclose it, but Cause I, I've I checked on that. But I didn't get as many wages as but I wanted after him. That transfer market thing that I was saying to Gary Carroll, but he was valued at hundred and twelve thousand. <laughs> You're valued at nothing, there's nothing <laughs> there for you. I was like, come on. <laughs> You've played uh, at the higher knowing, but it is, but I think it was just a wee joke, that ah, thing. But there's some player on that football manager, so I was. Oh, oh what a player I was on that. Well, like, there's a, a guy that actually does for this year's one FM22, and he's put in all the junior teams and everything. Aye. So he's got you, user all in it as well. There. Aye, aye. It's surreal seeing it, man. Um, but after that, you went into, was it Lowland League? Aye, but he's got bright for school. Aye. How did you enjoy it there? played about two games. Aye. I played the first two games and then didn't play again. Right. Manager oh, no just I don't know what happened, I don't know. So I done well the first two games. Right. I think I got married match first game. Second game I think we played Spartans away. Done alright again. Because he had a good season that didn't he? I think they finished Aye. second. Finished second in the playoffs. Uh, who he's Aye. No you need to go into the playoffs or you win the league. Right. You only only one goes up. Aye so they, it was a if they don't go up, they go into the playoff Aye. for to go up. It's like this new carry on that was going to be Darvo and, and I think Spartans played the high team. Who did they play? Cove Rangers. I Cove battered them. Aye. Cove battered whoever it was and went up. Aye. And they went up again. And they're they're, they're doing championship now. Aye, Aye. They're doing really well. Um, so I'm taking it then. That's when. That's when I went into junior football. But before we get to that. This man's been capped by Scotland at under 17s, under 16s, was it? 16s, 17s, 19s. Aye. Which is amazing. I mean, it's. That was good, man. And he scored against Israel. That, that's aye. the only There's bit only... of information I found on aye, you, I mean, that it was. Aye. So, one, who, was it Scott goal, Gemmell? Yeah. Was it management? In about then, no, the first one was Ross Maffey. With that, so right. That's Sky Sports Victory Shield. Aye. That was the first thing that we'd done. Done that. Played. Northern Ireland, Wales and England. Right, and you must have played against some boys that have went on and made it with England and stuff like that. And, uh, aye. Aye? Aye. aye. Got tore apart. That was not nice. Different level? Different level. And what do you think of the, the setup with Scotland then? Do you think, was it a good setup or was it still dinosaur kind of? It was, it, it was good obviously because you're gone, you're going, I'm going to play in Scotland here. 
at my age group, Kibberut, like, all Scotland, there's 18, 20 years picked as the best players to go and play. Okay. Let's, many let's be honest, I, you're, I mean? you're representing aye. your country mate. at that level, aye. it's still something, still I mean, something. it's really good. Aye. And what boys were you playing alongside? Way Scotland. Aye. Um, I don't think who else went on and played at that time. Bad man, I don't think there's any. Right. Because you see a boy, lot of that. Jamie Lindsay was like he's at um, Rotherham now. Right. He's playing with Rotherham. You see a lot of young talent coming up and Aye. under 16s, under 17s, 18s with Scotland Aye. and then don't kind of hear of them again. Because you had an 18 year old and you hit the drink, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> drink <laughs> kebabs. That's exactly what it is. Hi. Aye. It's a sad state of affairs, isn't it, here? It's, but it's even, you're laughing about it, but it's. It was just, and you're saying these English boys and stuff that you're playing against athletes, proper athletes. What are we doing, wrong? Don't know. Bevin, maybe. Is it? They, they like a bevy down there as well. But look at the population rate in England compared to the population of Scotland. Aye. And the academies they're in are top notch. Aye. Know what I mean? But th- that's obviously that's grassroots because you look at other countries that are small population size as it, and they're Aye. still they're far. Better than us. Well, you look at all the places, schools go off, the goals get looked up, the gates get looked, you can't get any play. Well, that's a bit. You, you need to, play, to play football now. things about no ball games and all that. Aye. Why? Why? Just let people go and play football. It's as if they don't. Aye, they don't want, want you to go and do it. Or they want you to charge it. Charge it, you do it. exactly. Uh, and they're not cheap these places, no, are they? they? No. Um, so I cut with Scotland and then you. Who were you with? Were you at Rangers then when that was? Aye, I was at Rangers then. So, everything must have felt rosy, you're getting cut for Scotland or that, and then... The visit was good, obviously, but I had to, I had to play right back. I wasn't a right back. So left back, right back, centre mid. Oh, fucking right, right Andy, get him in goals, start of the season, Aye, mate. Tell me. Uh, just to see. Um, it's no good. You've been only juniors after that. Uh-huh. Canvas line Rangers? Aye. Any difference here with Rangers, is there? No, no, no. <laughs> it's just to see Rangers. Same set How did you find that, getting into junior football? Was there much a change for the low levels into junior high? Aye. Totally different, man. Was it? Aye. Uh, Don't get me wrong, st- 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 standard-wise, in terms of players, that is no, that is no much a difference. As you've seen for this year, we have results against yep. certain teams. Like bon- no results with Bonnerig, the performance against Bonnerig this season, and I thought we should have got something out of the game. Absolutely. But then you see them going to League 2. So we're playing. They the wiped every league. What they done in their league? It was Aye. amazing. You know what I mean? So there isn't much difference in terms of players. You see that day? I, I asked Gary this, and he was like, he just felt you were on it, and you just could have won it. At that point, we came back for Christmas and that, we were miles off it. Big and, time? Aye, but we were still getting results. But performance wise, we won the great. Me and you, right? Aye. I think it was getting to us a bit. He lost a few players with injury and stuff. Aye. But well. then that Bonnie Rig game, it's kind of it switched back again. Mm-hmm. Do you think that game we Did you just feel as if you raised your level because it was them? Probably. I mean, it shouldn't be like that, but I think because you seen what they were doing that lonely, you didn't want to go and get battered. Whereas certainly, I, and I whereas think they were off it that day as aye, well. Aye. I think that it kind of maybe met in the middle there. Probably, aye. Um, that's not taking nothing away from you because I, I, I didn't see anything really different to what you had been doing all season. No, to what you've done that day, no. apart from the score. Yeah, we didn't score, Gary. Must have played, aye. Didn't he? That's good, yeah. aye. But the biggest game, and it does that, but hey ho, it is, it's in the past, isn't it? Aye. So, Camus Lang Rangers, were you there long? Six months, aye. aye. Aye, that turned into, I don't know if you heard, obviously, a couple of years ago, it turned into a bit of a saga down at Canvas Lang. Aye, there was and a bit of madness. The whole sort of players, didn't they? Yep. That was at that point. Management and stuff on the pitch. Aye, there's stuff about on that we'll not go into. Aye, crazy go into. Aye. stuff. Aye, leave that where it is. It's aye, not, not is today, but I don't know if it's, if it's still... Aye, don't want to comment. Aye. So you went on to Bees after that? Went to Bees, aye. Wasn't he, I was for chucking it after Canvas Lang. Aye? Aye, hated football. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Are you still working? Still working. Doing the um, IKEA stuff and that? No. No. no Would you have moved on to that? My dad gave it up. I ended up going and working 
in a warehouse. Right. Euro car parts I worked in there. Right. So obviously my granddad gave up that the building side of these things, so I had to go and get a job. Actually did an interview for a job. Do something on your own. Do something on my own. Be a big boy. Yeah, I get big boy pants on. <laughs> Um, obviously you've not gave it up you went to be did Aye. they come with you or whatever it was did you know somebody I else to John Joyce right it was the assistant manager at Aaron he'd phoned me because spoke kind of tight with Joyce right and he knew my granddad my granddad died right and I went I was in a bad way with it and he phoned me and he said what are you doing with your football and that and I says I'm done, done. I don't want to play football anymore I don't enjoy it I think I'd probably at that stage didn't enjoy your life, mate, to be honest Aye. with you. Know what I mean? I was kinda in a bad way. Obviously, you leave playing with Rangers and that and you just keeps you can doing and doing and falling, you're going, This is just shite. You know it's mean? gonna Yeah, you, you go, it's just know what you thought was gonna happen. Aye, cause you had ideas in your head as a young boy Aye, what you're wanting you're to do. You're gonna go fucking be a superstar and Aye. Did it doesn't work out not Champions League football. Aye, stuff. it doesn't work out and you you don't know what's you've not got a backup man. <laughs> Whereas it's probably Is that maybe fun. something Clubs could Aye. bring in for a backup De- plan for definitely young boys. Um, well, we went to school or college one day a week, whereas, but over time I think you only gone. Right. I don't fucking go back to school. Not me. I'll just what, left school. If I had to stay at school, I went to play football. So they sent me back. That's the way I looked at it. You shouldn't. Have, you should have just stuck in and done whatever course you went to go and do. I mean. But I didn't know. No, I mean, I just wanted to play football. But like any young boy, you just wanted to play football. Play football. Don't want to go to school. Hate school. Don't want to go to college. All right, carry on. Usual. Been there, done it, mate. Aye. Um, but aye, it, so was, it was John Joyce. He phoned. He spoke to. I think it was John Ball at the time. Doing it beef. Right. And he says, "I bring him down." And I went down and played. We played BSC in a friendly. I think I scored two or something in that friendly. And one of the managers that right, right sign. And that we had already been doing and played beef with Camus and it was a good setup. Right. And I knew they were a good team. <coughs> I think they'd just won the league the year before. Right. And I thought, I just did it. See how it goes. I ended up staying there for. We'll get a wee visit to them in pre season. Or they'll come to us. They'll come to us, right. Two or three years I stayed there for. And it was good. I enjoyed it. Good club. Well, some of the boys still there for you when you were aye. there, aye. So aye. you'll know them. Aye. Aye. You'll know them. Um, yeah. You're well looked after down there, I know. I think they're stepping in for another team that didn't want to play us. Aye. Oh, look. That's all about, mate. What happened there? Bottling it already? Don't know where it was. It was. The way he come to Dunterley and face the Invincible Champions. Oh, I don't know where it was. Don't know if it. Because it's every I year. I don't know if it was just too much. But I was to try and get it sorted. They were waiting on an answer and all that. And it was like, you know, about fucking we want the game, you know what I mean? Well, it, they go to the point of just think. It was meant to be overturned this year at Dunterley, so. but I think it was just too much. Asking about it and it was just like just getting another team. Point asking about it. Exactly, that's that's what it was. But I need another game. So, so fans, you just need to wait till the fixtures come out. I think it's twenty seventh or something. Fixtures come out this weekend. Coming so and look out for that game. Hopefully, it's at Dunnelly first. We get them. Um, So you stayed there, these for a while. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Two three seasons. I think I was there. Right, aye. Mm -hmm. And obviously, COVID hit. Well, get shut down there. Aye. Aye. Well, that would have been the day uh, some teams still played stuff like that. We still played. You still played, aye. But then it go to a point and they just shut it all down. Because you weren't playing, you weren't getting in at all. You weren't getting in at all. It was just playing games for playing games' sake, kind of thing. Did they get, basically, get, let everybody go? No, it was. I think you still stayed in that senior contract to it and. Go back in for pre-season and whatnot, but at the time, I started getting problems with my hips again. Right. And they know this physio, and I couldn't, couldn't train all the time. Aye. You know what I mean, so if I played on a Saturday, came on Monday, I couldn't train. I was just doing some that. Aye, um, but I think the majority of people that are watching, that you're athlete fans, you know that Darren's got injury problems, but we'll go into that a bit later on, just if you hear him saying that, then I don't want to divulge all because it, yeah, I, know. I want to hear it, it then. And, and it was the, um, obviously our beef manager, Brian Young Butch at the time, he was in his rights, want you train all the time, Aye. if you've got to be playing, I couldn't do it, and it just, it wasn't really working out, you know what I mean, I could not playing because I couldn't train all the time, Aye. I can hang in any time I trained all that, I was in, you know, I was in agony, you know what I mean, so it got to the point and it was Palmer phoned me, me if I was interested in coming to Affle. And obviously I tell him about manager problems, he's listening, we can 
maybe try work, work, work around about it. Um, also, I just thought I still had, I was still under contract up until, don't can't remember when the contract's running, I think it's the 30th of June. Right. Something like that. And um, this was by May, the end of May, I think. And I had to phone and say to him, listen, any chance you can just let me go. Just go and go find a new club. I think it's probably best for everybody to do that. And don't get me wrong, he was brand new, but they let me go, you know what I mean? And so, had you accepted to go to Arthur then? Aye. Any else in for you at the time? Ben Bubba. Ben's. But I was set on coming to Arthur because I've got mates and that play with Arthur. Aye. Just thought, I'm going to go and play with my mates and enjoy myself. Because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to date for too much longer. Not me. I thought, just go and enjoy it. Go and play with your pals and that's it. That's what I kind of went and done. And obviously you've played against Arthur and stuff before, had you? I, play, I only played once. Right. As I said, we think we played in the West, I think it was a year. Was it a year before that? Right. I think it was. I think it was a year before that. I don't right. think I played. I didn't play. I don't think I think it was... I was cup tied. I didn't play with Camby. Right. I was cup tied. Was that a Dunnerley? Game at Dunnerley? Four or five one and one, I think. And I think we found out we're going to win that. I know. Didn't Change you? days. I know. So, you get in there, you've seen the boys that are, obviously Andy and Palmer were bringing in boys that should have been playing at a higher level, Aye. as we already know. You obviously know that there's something good in the dressing room. So for what I've experienced and heard in seniors. Aye. These are all Close knit. We're all tight, it's a good thing. Um, it, is. it really is. I think he's believing your abilities to go out and beat anybody out there right. um, in front of you. Well, uh, don't, and be, that, don't be scared of anybody, it's a point. It comes across. It's a game when you see it. Loving guys, we're loving guys. Um, obviously, that goes into the invincible season. Mm-hmm. Like, when did you feel as if I we're going to go and do this now? Like, what, what was the game that you seen? Uh, you... Probably the second game against Shots at Dunley. Um, you know, because you know Shots were a team you were up against for the league. Yeah, we beat them, and then you're still you didn't really want to see it, but you're thinking, right, who else can I beat us here? And then we went the last game before the break. We went to Glasgow Uni. I think we ended up winning 3 1, but we were 1 0 down for. Yeah, three stadium, right? Aye, we were 1 0 down for I, a long time. Everyone was going rang at it. And it was squeaky bum, kind of like looking going, but it's happening. Here. Aye, uh, and Big Gary. It was freezing cold that night, and my Baltic. camera broke, everything aye, just was, wasn't happening. Aye, it was Baltic, Big Gary. And, uh, Big Gary's aye, that Hedery scored that night was fantastic, man. Aye, he uh, scored a. He sat too many edge of the box and he whacked in the tap corner, aye. didn't he? When he went 3 1, man, you could think you could see the relief for the boys that night. Didn't we end up 3 2? I'm sure they got another one oh, and at the yeah. end. Aye, it was like, you're like, come on, just get through ah, this just one. Get through end, it. The, exactly. end up part end of the it, season. That's it. Uh, and that was a, for me, that was the first time I'd ever took photos inside a proper football stadium. Oh, which, so it was good to see. I mean, and with a decent wee turnout of crowd and stuff see, there as well. See that night? Oh, it reminded me of Brian, me playing at Broadwood when I was at Clyde. Aye. I'm like, I just fucking hate playing in just empty stadiums, man. Empty like, stadium, freezing fucking aye. cold. Because it was one. Baltic that night, Aye. it was Baltic. Um, so, obviously, you've got past, I thought the day against Shots, they knew that they were raging when they came off that pitch as well. Aye. They were really. I think we got a penalty, it was a bit. Was a bit Carol. Aye, Gary I don't know if he won it or not, or it was Tam. It was Tam. Because I think Tam's won about 13. Penalties. He times one for a watch, isn't he? Him and Gary, the two of them have got it down to perfection, mate. Right? I'm not saying they're diving or anything, but no. he's not saying they're diving. He's not what you're but, doing. But they're diving. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I remember just before getting the penalty, they were up to Everton. I know, they'll just try to square goalies. I thought, I think they knew we had their number, man. That's what it was. I think they just tried to kind of fucking upset it, and it just didn't harm. You know what I mean? But uh, the penalty spot. Captain was. Ah, you didn't know that. Fit on Kerry the penalty. Know that. <laughs> what a young team behind no, the goal. Getting that penalty spot. Full park was fucked. Aye, I know. Aye, because it was a heavy pitch that day, wasn't it? It was. But um, go to it into it. So, as we were talking earlier, after Christmas, he's come back. 
it was all out of place. You were just getting ones. It, it wasn't spoke about, see, in terms of going on beating it, wasn't he? Really spoke about because we knew we had the run. I think Gary spoke about it. The run of three or four fixtures that were tough fixtures. I think it was maybe Bitlitz, Craig Mark, Johnson Borough, and somebody else. Aye. Um, uh, if, but if we get through them, it was just a case of get the points on the board for them because you know that's a big step towards winning the league. But then you go through the three, four games, I think we won them all. Aye. We won every man, I think, didn't we? No, Johnson Borough we drew. Johnson Borough you drew. But even at that... But it was after Johnson Borough won, but I thought, right, we can go to this unbeaten thing. Because I'm sure thing we lost drop points that day as well. Shots. Shots drop points. Two I, weeks in a row. I had a drop point. I had to get beat two, two weeks in a row then. Mary Hill we had... We don't have Mary Hill or not. Do you know that? Can't remember. I remember the day manager lost the plot with his interview. Oh, oh fuck I. Saying that he's borrowed one hundred and fifty <laughs> two hundred pound a week and stuff like that. Mild effort, Fantastic interview. Probably Aye. the best I've seen all season, man. <laughs> um, so, going to talk about a wee bit of red card at Rob Roy. Ah, yeah. Let, um, let it boys do that, didn't I? I but spoke to Gary about this as well. Just one of the games. That was that was the only game I think for the full year where it was not just shite, mate. Nothing went. Aye, it's just, Aye. just shite. One of the days just happens because I think if we play them any other time, it's, it's not that score. No, it's totally it's different not that game. Score. Though, I mean. but, and, that's, but then that shows you what can happen this year. You step up a league. Aye, that can happen to you. Aye, no your arse will get felt if aye. you're not on it. It happened against Hurlford, I know. Been chances to have that game won by half time. You don't take the chances, this bang bang goal that should have done. I, ended, I, I think that was one of the only games I missed all season, was a Hurlford game. Hurlford game. With the chances, I think we were in 1 0 doing it half time. But it could have been 5 6 1 errors. Aye. aye, easy. It's the chances we had. And Gary Smith, no, I mean, missed our own goal. When's Gary Smith missed our own goal? No, I mean. I'm glad I didn't watch it, to aye. be honest. And then we get back to one each, and then. They got a part, score two goals, bang, that's it, done. And you're gone. Needs are done. It just shows how easy it's. Uh, aye, it uh, and it's going to be a tough league next nah, season, we, be, we know that. But I don't think we'll not be. We'll be going to be a plan to do well. Aye, you're no cannon fodder anyway. Oh. You know, you're good enough. And am I right in saying that you're still registered as a player? Aye. For next season? So, might be some cameos. No, probably not. And a cup. Out it, Out it, man. Um, so the red card, obviously I'm at the side, I can see, that. I think the Lino was an absolute clown that day. Oh yeah. And then the fiasco, we obviously thought the goal was offside or something. I thought it was. And you're screaming at him, using some naughty language, I Aye. think. And he didn't like it. Big grass, didn't he, right? Aye. And then, but, it, but it wasn't what he told him that I'd said something, but it wasn't what I'd said to him. Aye, he changed what he said. He changed, I called him a useless. Aye. And he said I called him a cheating. Right. Then the ref said, me, you called him this? I says, well, I'm not fucking telling any lies on me. You know what I mean? But that was after he gave me the red card. I says, but what's that for? But the red card? Because you called him a cheat. <laughs> I says, well, I'm not telling lies on me. You know what I mean? And then, <laughs> obviously, it goes to the pot then fucking... But the... See, red, I don't see even the red, red card, right? So he's he not goes, got a red he, card. He's already talked to him, right? And then goes, Eddie, there are a lino. And then I'm like, where the fuck is she doing here? Uh, back to the this other, was mental, by the way. Runs back out of what, the original lino, then goes back here and sends me after him like that. Because he was there talking to the furthest away lino for ages, and I thought he's he forgot his red card. No, he was there talking to him, and then when Eddie ran out of the dugout side, I'm going, What's going on here? Like, going to get the game going? He forgot his yeah, red card. Yeah, that's what he'd done. So he'd go to I'm like, I'm going to get the game going. What are we waiting about for? Hurry up. I think it went, that was 3-1, I think. And right. Like, right, come on, get the game going to be signed back in this. And then he came here, red card, and I'm like, ah, what? And but then... It was, nah, it was just... Aye. I let, I, let, I let the boys do that day. Aye. Because after, 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 that? Cause after that, there was no getting back into the game. What then, happened so. when you came off the pitch? Did you lose the plot? Lost the plot, man. Ripped the changing room door off the wall, didn't I? <laughs> Fair, the guys are right about it, stuff. I think he, he managed to just screw it back on, didn't right. he? Right. No, no more proud this moment. But do you know what? It shows you care, mate. I mean, it shows that you're wanting to win. Aye. Um, there is a winning mentality in that squad. So. It's in a pass, mate. 
Thunder. What will be? I think they couple of games. That was the second week in a row we beat, wasn't it? So aye. So kind of like that was the first aye. <coughs> that was the first two. I think there was only two we lost to that. No, but the Hurlford one. Oh yeah. Aye. I drank a lot, didn't you? Um. So you said the the game against Shorts was the one you knew that you were going to go and dare. No, no dairy unbeaten. I knew that smell. Like that's it. I think it's yours to throw away now. With the shots, man. What was your favourite game of the season that you enjoyed playing in, and you thought, oh, "I'm loving this game." Whatever, blah blah. blah. Um, <coughs> Is that uh, watching you, especially at the end of the season? I think the game. I enjoyed the. The last game, your cut one. Enjoyed that one. Your goal. Cracking free kit. We I'm glad good. I got it once Because we, we were good that day. <laughs> I, I did uh, predict it when I was setting up. With I know, I heard that. Ramsey said uh, I heard that. Uh, if you've not seen it, check it out. It's on my page. Uh, Absolute peach a free kick, by the way. Um, I noticed the last couple of games of the season, when we were going for a league and that, I noticed a change in you, how you were driving forward and bursting to score. Aye. If you were busting for goals oh, all the time, man. fucking hitting shots for everywhere. I know. Um, and you managed to get a couple in all, didn't you? Got a couple, aye. Uh, was that down to thinking, this is me at my last one? Not oh, really, no. I'm just... putting a dig in. I've always done it there. Oh. I've never thought about I, it. I've just seen but, a bit of yeah, There's, there's an talk of them getting behind to see the either goal at say that don't like getting big nets and I'm like that season too late aye aye, aye. <laughs> aye. Um, could they be right along your side right aye they're everywhere um, uh, next time I was going to ask you was your favourite goal but I think we already know that you've just said that I think you scored a peach early in the season top corner the uh, free kick was my favourite one uh, the one against um, Gapkern the Scottish Cup right enjoyed that one aye because everybody's like Gapkern uh, that'll be like your Biggest S so far in that, and I think it was like away, mate. four one, five one, or something like that. We deal first couple of minutes when it scored uh, a couple. Oh, Gary Carroll scored that, didn't he? I thought we deal scored one. I don't know, did he? Can't remember. Can't remember. Oh, that was so freezing cold that day, I know. Uh, one of the coldest games I've been at. Aye, ever. that was freezing, man. Um, I think we were all freezing, I know. Yeah, again, they were raging because they thought they were going to beat us. No, I think they did put beef out in the round before. I think they battered like a good five, Aye. six, nothing. But you you turn up, you were professional, you used um I enjoyed the, the Ben Bob one, I know. But didn't really. Aye. I enjoyed that one. That, Can that, we blew him away in the first twenty minutes. Didn't know what seen happened. a little thin twenty minutes and that was it. Didn't know what happened. Boom, game done. That that was my favourite. I enjoyed uh, that game. Uh, without a doubt. Uh, that set a kind of benchmark for me. I went, no, they, they can do this. Aye. They they can go in and do something here, but I didn't think it would end up the way it did. No. And then as closer as it was getting to the end of the season, I know you're like, when it comes to Mabel at home and 2 0 I was mental that night. I didn't even know what happened. See when that second goal went in, I was standing behind the goal and I could just look around the stadium and I could see everybody just kind of like, oh, well, that's it. But see, we're, right, we're on the part and see when it's happening, you're turning and looking at it going, it's not as if the You're looking, you're going, what's. But you're 2 0 done. Well, mean start it. You're like, what's going on? But how? I think they had two look, chances and scored. Look, where did this even come from? Because I think we started well. Aye. The first five, ten minutes, and then they scored, and it was as if, oh, it's like, can he just start fucking falling to pieces now, man? Not I mean this because I think it'd been hyped up by everybody. Like, this is a big night. We go and win the league, and that. Then you go boom, two 0 doing it half time. You're like, can't believe this is happening. And After the season we've just had, you're going to no win the league on that night, and you're just about to fuck up round beating him. Yeah, because I, it got to the point where. We hadn't won the league, but we knew it was kind of won. No, I mean, we didn't come out and say it, but Aye. the unbeaten thing was, in my head anyway, was mere, we can go and do this unbeaten run because we only had, what, four or five games left, if you're lucky. Uh, or even that, was it? Three games. Was it? Um, obviously, at the side, you're like, hi, they can do it. You believe in it? Aye. Because of how well you're playing, but the closer it's getting, and our nerves are at you're like you just want this because I had everything aye. already for invincible like, uh, come on we need to do it you can't you sure you? and honestly as I keep saying it's I don't think you'll ever see it again <clears throat> I don't think especially with athletes I don't think we'll ever see another athlete see team see when 
scored the Dale scored the third, didn't he? To be three two. I've never heard a noise like the juniors at a ground. That was some noise, wasn't it? Aye. And because it, it just aye, been stoked up just aye, before. You've got a video, haven't you? You're a bench. Aye. 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 And you hear it, aye. and you're like, that's, "That's a junior football ground." The uh, it just the fans had been stoked up because what their keeper done to we Aaron Healy. Aye. I mean, remember half a ball and Aye. need them. So they were off. They're all raging. Fever pitch with him. No, I thought he had a great game on our big keeper. Aye. I like him. I think he's a decent keeper. Uh, but he like sailed down there and Aye, the referee. He did, didn't he? What the refs? How he's not seen it. But hey, well, they need help. Need linos oh. and stuff. Well, that's going to be a big thing next year, isn't Aye. it? You've got linos. <coughs> that's that's a linos. Refs. I mean, when they've not got linos, they're there. So you can see everything. Aye, and, um, but do you know what? There is good ones, there is bad aye. ones. At every level. Every level. Scottish football is crap, isn't it? Aye, Basically, aye. referees. Uh, and, and one of our referees just leaving, Bobby Madden, isn't he? He's away to England. Aye. I know. Can't be that bad if he's going down there. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to do now is going to ask a wee, some fan questions, right? That's been sent in to you, mate. Before I do that, just a wee shout out first to Club Shop Direct. Um, get all your athlete merchandise uh, there. I'll leave a wee link in the description below. Derek's got some amazing things there for Athlete fans. Uh, it helps out with some mugs and all that as well. So thanks very much, Derek. Um, and I'll do a wee shout out for Jam Jar as well just now. Um, if you've never been, it's a wee place in Shuttle Street in Paisley. You go and get some scran, um, mocktails, cocktails, everything. If you've never been done, go down and check it out, mate. It's absolutely buying. Shuttle Street in Paisley. It's uh, Jam Jar. Is it please is ambitious? I <laughs> <laughs> go and say hello to Mark uh, and Paula and stuff and they'll help you. Alright, thanks very much for that guys. What he's there for me is tremendous. Um Questions, mate. Right. So these were on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and right. stuff, right? So the first one is for an old Palliers Bomber. Um he says Where's that training top you promised me? Keeps going on about a training tap, right? So, when I signed there, with a mate of mine, and he's like, ah, get me a training tap and that. I says, I'll get you one, no bother. I mean, but then he goes, oh, and it doesn't fit him. That's <laughs> what he's saying. He says, how he does. He says, I'm too fat and old to be fat in him, so. I think we've got a large, you know what I mean? I'll no fit him. Aye, he, he just wanted to put that in because he was a pal, he also stuff like that. He's trying to be a wide, so. Um, another boy on. Twitter is Ian Dickey. Uh, what's your favourite away ground you've played at? My favourite? Not be Broadwood anyway. No, no, no. Um, but junior football? That, that is, could be anywhere, mate. I enjoyed playing at... <laughs> I can't even think. I liked. I liked Mary Hills Park. Right. I know it was terrible, but I don't know why I liked playing there. So maybe because it's a bit compact. Maybe I, I liked that. Was it called Lockburn? Is it Lockburn? I think so. I enjoyed playing there. <coughs> I've never been yet. Aye. Um, no, it was good. Stan Albion. Right. Their surface is brilliant. Aye. Aye. I don't know, I think maybe Scotland's. Like first team might train on that sometimes I think right they used to anyway I know I think anyway because I think there is some we used to play there your the 20s games at Rangers we used to play Star Albion right that was good great surface well there you go Ian hope he's answered that for you aye uh, another boy for Twitter Mad Mush I think it's the boy it's stones right at the side of it <laughs> uh, what are your plans for the future and don't be a stranger at Dunnally no Okay. I'm just reading that out, right? We're going to speak about this in a wee minute about what his plans are for the future and All stuff right. like that. Um, so your question will be answered, mate. Uh, <laughs> and this question's for my son, Lewis. He's one for the watch. Hi, Lewis. Uh, he's one for the uh, watch. And he's asked, Are you going to miss me taking pictures of your arse? <laughs> 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 I think he's must photographed arse and. Ah, junior football, mate. Football, that was a, uh, that was a uh, weird time, wasn't it? Was I just it? started off as a. Is he can yet? A wee wind up. Uh, up at. <laughs> was it Banff, wasn't it? 
Aye. 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 They fall near each other to put the ball in it. I've actually got a photo here. Skilled it in off sea, man. Nad Zeb lying in the goals, and somebody t- pushed him in to get, try and get a goal. Try and get a goal. Aye, uh, so Lewis get caught taking a photo of Darren's arse. It just aye. turned out that way, but every time he passed him after it, he took a photo of my arse and he's like, oh, look. Aye. But I've not told him I was putting this in a day, so he's going to be raging. He's he wa- be he raging. does watch. Aye. So, uh, just getting you back for some stuff. Aye. My last one is for your captain, mate. Gary Carroll, when he's asking what happened at the players' Christmas night out in Newcastle where you wore a suit? Didn't he wear a suit, mate? I wore a... No, 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 he's... I, I wore a blazer with a shirt. Right. And a, and a wee he's adamant it was a suit. He's saying it was a suit. It wasn't a suit. Because... He tries to touch me up, not me. Aye, aye, he's... But I, I, I wore it, not me. I looked at Doug's box. He says, I've not to take that off you. I have to <laughs> tell you. <laughs> It was I, a suit. I, I've seen that basically Gary's stitched you up. I thought he's with suits on him aye. and Scooby and aye, Dave McKay all put aye. photos aye. into the chat. Scooby McKay's like a soft MD. You see what you're doing? He's running about that chef. Come on, man. Mate. Turn it up. Totally this day. Give it a grip. I thought it was a great story. I was like, oh, please, but let it be true. Please, he's walked in there with a suit on. Was he a suit on? No. But it was, it was smart. I think we'll need to ask other players when they come on to see what their side is as well, mate. You're trying to bam me up, know what I mean? But if you've done that, mate, I remember he's gone that day because that was a bus for Craig Mark. Craig Mark, it was, aye. Aye. Um, Where's that following suit? That was a wee blazer. A shirt. Aye, know what I mean? With a pair of eggs, a pair of jean things on. He says you fucked off to your bed in a half. He says you took the half. No, I had to go to my bed because fucking they're all in my room, man, when they fucking built, know what I mean? (laughs) Shattered. Eh. just carried it off from my back for 90 minutes ago. <laughs> hey, that was some game, I don't know. I liked that game. Uh, freezing cold again. I should have never been on that game. Um, right, thanks very much for your questions, guys. I appreciate it. Keep them coming in the next couple of weeks for the next couple of guests what have come on lined up. Uh, I'll go into that later. Who was your unsung hero? I asked Gary this and he said Dave McKay for last season was his unsung hero. Who would you say... A lot of goal scorers kind of get mentioned and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. um, same players all the time. Recently at the end of the season it was young boy, Keely, everybody was talking about and stuff. Aye. So, Who do you think didn't get recognition last year that should have maybe got a wee bit more? <coughs> um, Scooby. Put off some big saves. Penalty saves and that he done, man. This isn't a stitched up, by the way, Scooby. Mabel. Saved a penalty against Mabel, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Was it 3 2? What was the score that time? 3 2, 8 minutes to go. Aye, we needed to win, didn't we? I needed to win the league. We needed to win the league. Um, aye, he put uh, up some big saves, to be fair to him. A couple I mean. of penalties. I know we all slaughtered him, that pop of and that, but <laughs> he did He did put up some good saves, so he does. Aye, uh, he, he's. Especially at the end of the season. Aye. He done well. I don't know if it was maybe a bit of pressure with Gary playing a couple of games before it and stuff as well. Aye. Um. um you handed me Gawkin. Mm. What a fit up here. Good, isn't he? Aye. Very, very good. Uh, and he's only going to get better. Aye. He's young. He came out, out of nowhere for me. I was like, he's a young boy. And then nice. after you watch him play, you're like, aye. Very good. He's slotted into that team easily. Um, seems to be liked in the dressing room and all. And aye. But for Gary stitching him up last week in the podcast saying that he sniffs the shin guards and stuff. <laughs> He yeah. wasn't too happy yeah, about it. Yeah, I did one for the watch. I know. So aye. Was, aye. Well, we'll need to find out more about this. We'll do it off camera. <laughs> um, so, as we were talking earlier about what your the mad motion that I had asked about what your plans were for the future and stuff, we had said about, um, we didn't want to mention injuries, Darren's going to have to retire at uh, 26 because of his really bad injuries and stuff like that. Um, we'll go into it in a minute talking. Um, He's going to go into the coaching side of stuff with Arthurly, um, which is, I think, is a great idea for him to come in and do it because we're just lo- losing a boy. It's, at the same time, Mark, thanks very much, Mark, for everything you've done with. Um, you'll be forever known as a 
one of the invincible coaches. So Darren's gone to slot in and then but before that before we go into that, I'm gonna talk about the uh, we shout out for time to tackle who are there every time on it because it's a mental health side of things and um a Wednesday night and a um Friday night. Check them out on Twitter, Facebook, anything like that. It's helping people get out, man, females, kids, I don't know if it's sixteen or over. Go and play football with them, have a chat. If you need to, you don't need to actually play football, you can go down and watch and stuff, but they'll help you if you're struggling with mental health. And as I keep saying, but DMs are open on here if you want to speak to us, we'll help you. Um and I, I kinda think that links in with what you were saying with yourself spiralling down the way and obviously your mental health, you don't want to be playing football and stuff like that and it, it's tough. I mean, oh, um, who are you going into the coaching side of it? You're going to have to be looking out for stuff like that oh, as well. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. how how did you get run it? Did you speak out about it? Did you go to MD? Because it's <laughs> not really, no. At that, the years you were doing that, there's probably no they talk about it like there is no, now. It's just like no, everywhere. No, I didn't really. Just kind of got one. So you've just me. had to get yourself no, through it. But obviously, you've it. you've had some. Um, tough times and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So you've obviously suffered mentally at some point or that, but you, you've got through it. Maybe going to places and enjoying your football games helped. Aye. A wee bit of therapy for you. Aye. Do you know what I mean? You've gone out. Um, but coaching side, I think it's, we were talking the other night at the Player of Year Awards and stuff. Um, by the way, well done to all the boys who won stuff. Um, some um, hard to pick winners for that. Uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, with the coaching side, it you've never done it before, have you? So no. it's all new to you, no. and you're actually going tonight, night, it's starting the night, isn't it? Starting the night. So Ricardo and Palmer went to Florida for three weeks, left with myself. <laughs> so <laughs> this is gonna, <laughs> cheers, bro. Cheers, but boys. As we were, were talking to the player of your awards, and you were saying how you've got these standards with being at Rangers and stuff like that. Aye. You know what you're wanting. The way you are on a pitch as well, the way you're shouting, you're, aye. you're always wanting the best. Sometimes you take that far. into the coaching. Just, aye. Obviously, on the park, it just took too far sometimes. I know I know I've took it too far sometimes, and it is what it was. There is people. But it, but it, gets, it gets forgot about. Aye, so yeah, it's for, gaming, that's it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's football at the end of the day. It's just wanting to do well, man. That's what it is. People kind of think that going for a player, these teammates that you've got, mm-hmm. now you're going to be coaching them. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Do you think you'll get the respect of the boys? <laughs> Absolutely not. They're gonna, <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm going to tear you apart. They're already on me already. Aye. So I scooby went for me last night in the chat because I hadn't told them training times yet. I didn't know training times yet. I did know them, but we had to get some final details right. first before. You know what I mean? He's Where is it you're training? The night, Dunnally. At Dunnally? Aye. I might pop down and take some photos of your first night. Training, mate. Battering. I'll be there tonight anyway. I think there's a committee meeting. Um, so, I, how did it feel to retire? It's hard, mate. Aye. It's hard. Tough. Because I'm only about 26 year old. I don't think 26 year olds are going to have to retire. Tough, mate, isn't it? Aye, it's tough. And it's kind of, for me, I, I, I like you as a player. I, I like watching you. I think you're um, a good player for us, really. Your efforts this season have been outstanding. And to go and watch that and then hear that you're, you're getting it up, it's like, pff, do you know what I mean? It's a bit of a... Nice. Listen, it's, it's where it is. But uh, I'm just glad that you're still with Athlete and you're going to uh, Aye, get the I opportunity to do the coaching. You're talking about the mental health side of things. Do you see why I didn't have the opportunity to go in and do the coaching? I wouldn't know what to do myself. Aye. On a Saturday afternoon. I know what I'd do, I'd go to the pub. Aye. You can go to the pub after football. Aye. But so, it's, it, it does fill that gap. It's hard to explain because like, you're used to doing it all the time. Aye, it's I mean, we've routine. No, we've not been there for what, three weeks or something now. It was Aye. that horrible game three weeks ago, I think. And you've been sitting in the house like that. What did I do? Aye, what did I do? Aye. Obviously, what did I do? Obviously. Oh, well, you've. Recently became my dad. Recently became my dad. So I'm kept busy. Kept busy with that, but your football's your football, isn't it? 
and you're always kind of used to doing it and you miss it. Even now, I know I'm not going to be playing, but I still miss being around about the boys. Aye. Be, I, Are you going to try and do some training yourself? Keep, keep in with it? I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to see you in about a year's time, mate, and you're ballooned up to one of these big football players that <laughs> still play. You know what I mean? You see them on Sky Sports. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they're at Aye. <laughs> Um So, uh, what, do you think you'll bring anything to it, Arthur, with your coaching? If you get in the same mind that they're like different, or are no, you just like going to try and so follow just, what they're doing? Just do everything right. Like, there's no point in coming up to training to do it half assed Because you're there, put it in. I mean, because look at it, we're playing at this level, right? The money's no outrageous. You're not playing football for the money. Aye. You're playing it to enjoy it. So, see if you come when you're half assed you're not going to enjoy it. When you're half hours, put everything into it and get something out of it. Well, what I notice for you is, see when you're starting off and you're doing your wee warm ups on the pitch and you do the wee 4v4 or whatever, and kind of um, boys with a bibs on. Possession. At first, first couple of minutes, it's all air place and everything, and then you Aye. just hear Palmer and Aye. come on, Aye. and then sometimes you'll hear players like. Yourself, uh-huh. get, get the fucking thing out. We're not here uh-huh. to fucking fuck about. Do you uh-huh. know what I mean? You set, you set your own standards. It, it's it's good mean? hearing that. And we hang in, we set our standards, so we did. Mm-hmm. And we knew when we were below it. <coughs> Obviously, what I spoke about when we came back after Christmas, we were well off it compared to what we had been. Aye. But then, had we set it too high because of what we were doing? We were oh, going out and we blowing teams away. You've set so a you're, benchmark now. You're going to get times where it's not going great, which I think showed the other side is. That we can, we've got grit and determination to just win ugly. Aye. Because there has been games we've had to do it. Absolutely. I remember us the game down at Whitlitz. I think there was 15, 20 minutes to go. Whitlitz were an alright team. Aye. And we were just horrible, man. Like, killing the game, keeping it in the corner, kicking it off them, not. And you can see them getting raging. We were all just laughing at it, you know what I mean? Aye, that was the one. Because I think there was one, the manager said something, didn't he? I think he came out and said something like we can still win a league catch from that. I don't know as good as what they think they are and all that. And down there, and it was just kind of like, uh, we've uh, just got to take a piss at you. See, there's a few that have bumped their gums all season. Right. About it, I mean. And do you know what? But then you, you do that, and then you just, boys are just going to be like, is that right? Mate? Aye. You're going to get And I think maybe way. I might have stoked something the other day with that post I put on about Aye, you have. new victims. Put, put the boys under pressure. Bring man. it on. Aye, people will be. Just for but maybe he's needed it. Stepping nah, up a little. I'm not sure. So, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Sure I couldn't help myself. But you, do you know what? You've took a bit of beating, so you have. <laughs> I the boys have went for you. Good. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I said. That's what I said. No pressure. Huh? Aye. Cheers for that. Well, maybe that's. Well, me being part of the committee, that's what I'm expecting. Aye. I'm expecting these to be at a certain level. Was it awfully, awfully before? Obviously, but we just done Mercy before that for a couple of years. They were doing the dumps a wee bit, Aye. and then if everybody will be the first ones to admit it, committee guys, everything, know what I mean? On and after, on and after so, uh, and it's but took then, a lot to get aye, it back to. But, but even before that, Athlete was a massive club. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, they were successful. And there's no reason why we can't get no, back to that because we're not. doing it. We're we're all going in the one direction. Aye. That's all. It's a good place to be in now. Aye. And in terms of like, obviously, me get the coach and try to talk to players to bring them. Tough, that's what you're trying to tell them. It's a good place to be at because it's there's a winning mentality there and that's changing them, which is only going to get better because I, you know you need to be at their standards constantly this year in that tap league because it's no disrespect to any teams who play in the conferences, right? Because the conferences they were what they were, aye. but there's teams playing against certain teams that was it's never not that it's never going to happen, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you, you look at so a different, you know what I mean? So close Victoria's. They're trying, get, difference. Aye, they're trying to get players in, know what I mean? If, they're struggling. If, if you're going and getting beat 8 and 9 now every week, your it's players are going to go, I'm not going to fit back. It's hard for these teams, know what I mean? Really hard. And it's, it is hard for them, but. And, and do you know what? They're, they're hard, a great yeah. wee setup now, I don't see when they come in. Uh, uh, most of the teams that day, it's all brilliant. But the conferences aye. were just a joke with it. And then the seven coming down for the Premiership and all that. It was, aye. So hopefully for now, moving on, it's going to be better set up and stuff aye, like that. I think they're doing is Premier League and then Division 1. Everybody's fun where they're going to be at, aren't they? Yep. And it'll be more competitive. Well, certainly when you look at the teams we're playing next season, it's going to be competitive. And I, I'm looking forward to so it. So am I. Um, I just hope that you can instill that into these players. Uh, because your passion for aye. the, the game shines through, mate. Some people come to training right and they'll 
<sighs> Might have a bad night in the Hartons, it's football. Aye. They're not going to be brilliant all the time. See if you're brilliant all the time. You know, we play Malfoy, we play me fucking Aye. Man City. Aye. You know what I mean? Exactly. And it, it is what it is, not me. But, you, um, you come to your football and you just go and try and enjoy it. So, what advice we have for any youngsters listening and watching want to make it in the game? Obviously, you've been at Rangers and stuff like that and cut for Scotland. So you've learnt a bit and now you're getting into coaching. What advice would you give them about maybe wanting to make it? Listen to what people are telling you today. Experienced people that have been there before and done it. Don't think that you're, oh, I don't know how to do that, I'll make it anyway. So it doesn't happen like that. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. Work hard. I think... Talent only gets you so far. You need to put the hard work in. Aye. Uh, and... Certainly for the young boys I've seen playing with and stuff like that, they, they day work hard and Aye. I go and watch the 20s and I go and watch the amateurs and the boys day work hard. Aye. <clears throat> As you say, it's a great place for Arthur uh, to be at the new Arthur um, and let's hope it continues. Aye. So, last question mate, I'm going to say, who would you like to see come on the pod? Gary Smith. Get him on. Carry on. I know he's seen his camera shy. Camera shy, big man. Come on. He's got. You have a good few stories, so well. Aye. I mean, he's I, played I horrible in that, and he's played in Europe. You know what I mean? He'll have a few stories to tell. Get your ass on, mate. There's, there's a few that I'm speaking to to get in and stuff like that, but I'm, obviously I'm trying to date every fortnight and stuff, and mm-hmm. let's try to get the boys in. But You could get, see Scooby. Scooby's came for a different way where he's ended up at Arfley. Compared to like obviously Gary was at Aberdeen, I've been at Rangers and that. I think Scooby's came for the amateurs. I've asked you know him I mean? twice. It's a different way he, he's managed to get here to play, you know what I mean? And he, it'd be fascinating to see. He's given it. Doesn't matter, come on. Staff goalies, aren't it, man? Sure, I might talk to him tonight if I see him tonight. Aye. Um, hopefully get him on because I, I think it, it, it talks well. See when you talk to uh-huh. him and uh, the way he talks about Arthur and stuff as well. Obviously, that is a different route. Mm-hmm. As you saying, coming up through amateurs and stuff I'm like trying that. Trying to get where the young boys on. See their perspective of it. Aye. Where it's like so, coming uh, into a team for of boys that are. Aye. Experienced boys in that changing room. No. I want, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the first team, give them their, Aye, their place first. Their place first, and then go into the under 20s amateurs and stuff like that. Aye. So maybe get the management on as well. Do a season preview. <laughs> Don't bore yourself with that, man. Oh. No. Um, what, sorry, before we go, what do you think for next season? Would it, what is realistic for us? I know when teams get promoted, they tell us, oh, we just want to stay in the league, that's not what we want to do. But it's, what's the point now? You just stay in the league, but scrape by? Nah, try to go and show you're a good team. No saying we're going to go and win the league, because it'll be hard to do that. Ah, it's you, going see, to be hard. you see some of the clubs there. But you want to go and be competitive. You don't want to be... Especially at home. When Especially at home. Aye. Before already Pe- got that. People don't like Conte Dunley. Aye. There's boys we've tried to sign and they're like, don't like playing at Dunley. Aye. Alright, fair enough, that's alright. But people don't like Conte Dunley. Because it's a wee tight pitch. There's a certain mindset to be playing there, isn't it? It is. Right. Well, thank you very much for coming on, mate. It's been a pleasure. Um, I've enjoyed it. Um Getting people on hard because at first, I mean, it's like, I'm no used to this, we don't do it. I mean, Aye. it's not something that you are used to. Oh, come on, you're getting it, you're but like. it's good. It, it's good. It was good listening to you, mate, and good insight to your career and stuff, and hopefully get you back on again at some point, maybe. And this time you'll be coming on as a coach. Aye, different, you know different, different side of it, isn't it? Thank you very much, mate. No problem. It's been Cheers, a pleasure. Man. It's been brilliant. Cheers. Catch you later, mate. Right.